one of my favorite quote is, the light at the end of the tunnel is you. And what does that all mean? That means that the story in your journey now starts. And don't give up. Keep going strong and keep fighting. Here's another vlog. Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing well. Today we are going to be talking about color grading, color correction, and how to get your film to look very cinematic as possible. So let me take you in. We're using Premiere Pro, and what we are using to record our screen is OBS. By the way, that's not a plug for OBS. I just like OBS a lot. I know there's a lot of other programs out there, but this one works the best for us. So check it out. All right, so what we have here, we have Premiere Pro. Um, I already put an adjustment layer on top because under here, this will be our, um, our main clip. So you, we, can, we can go back and forth and see what's different and what's not different. So let me show you guys what I do first, okay? So right here, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> right here uh, we have our wave format. And under here is all your blacks, your highlight shadows, and this right here tells you when it's overexposed. And if we just raise this up a little bit more, it gets brighter and brighter and brighter, and it just looks blown out and it looks disgusting. So this is what we're going to do, okay? We are going to go to the curves first. I like doing that, getting that done and out of the way, okay? So high, medium, and lows. So I kind of like to make an S. Okay? And I always go back and forth to see what it looks like. Okay. So now I'm going to add a little contrast to it. I'm going to add some highlights to it. I'm going to bring down my shadows. It's just that's the style that I like. Bring up my whites a little bit. And I always go back. So this is what it looks like now. This flat, good, flat, good. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into, um, I always forget the name of that. Uh, my, nope, not curves. All right, now I'm going to go into my creatives, okay? And all through here, you have the presets that it comes with Premiere Pro that Premiere already did. You can make your own. I like to see what they have. So you can just go ahead and click around. Um, it can show you right here on the right-hand screen what it looks like. And then you can go ahead and take your intensity down a little bit. If you take it down all the way, that's what it looks like. So you can see right here on your program monitor, right here on the right. Let's go up a little bit. I like to leave it at, and I know a lot of people do this too. I like to leave it around like 50%. Okay. Now right here is the film fade. This actually gives it the film look. I like it a lot. Some people go overboard with it like this. I like to keep it somewhere around 34. Okay, let me go back. That's what it looked like in the beginning. That's what it looks like now. So you have all these other tools down here that you can use. Your hue, hue versus hue. But this is just quick and easy that we're doing. Quick and easy. All right, but I want it to be a little bit cooler. So I'm gonna take the temperature, I'm gonna make it a little bit more blue. Okay, perfect. 
saturation goes up a little bit with it. Okay, contrast a little bit more, shadows a little bit more, highlights. You can always play around with these. You can add some pink to it, a little bit of green. I don't like to do that. So when you go back, going back and forth, that's what it looked like in the beginning. That's what it looks like now. And I think it looks pretty good. I want to just take It was actually my fault a little bit during that day. I, I overexposed this face by using the window light, but it is doable right now. So that's what it is right here. And then what I would do is I would start cutting it up by hitting C and making cuts, you know. And then I would hit V to get my pointer. And then I, oops, I would um, highlight these two right here and I would delete it and I would put something there. But as of right now, I'm just color correcting this whole film. And how to get all this stuff back to normal, you hit Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, until you get back to where you wanna be. So that's how I color correct. Uh, a lot of people like to do it a different way. I don't believe there's a right or wrong way of doing it. And as I said, if there is, let me know because I would like to know. But this works for us. We like doing this. I know Rob and Noble, they do it different ways. Um, Rob uses DaVinci, Noble uses Premiere, I use Premiere. I mean, we all use different type of programs to get us through. But this is what we really like to do, and I kind of like this look. The blue in the background, it just really makes it look cinematic as possible. And then we have music to it, and so on and so on. Right. That's just the fast way of how to do color correction, and adding a LUT, and color grading all together. So thanks for joining, and if you like this, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. See you later.